It's wonderful to go on mission trips to other states and other countries, but sometimes we forget to look right around in our very own community. That's why Pastor Jean Blackie has started a Helping Hearts and Hands mission camp at her churches in Damascus Charge. Tell us why you wanted to start a mission right here in your own town. Well, Brittany, um, when I came here four years ago, I noticed that a large mission group came from out of state to this area to help people in their houses. And they asked people to apply for help, and then they would go and work at their houses. And it was youth and adults. There were maybe 200 people who came. But the people in this very rural area, many of them didn't want to apply. They didn't feel like they wanted to ask for help. But they did need, they did need some help with their houses, especially some old, elderly, disabled people who want to stay in their homes. And so um, a youth mission camp had started at another church in Knoxon, Pennsylvania, in the Wilkes-Barre District. It was called the Helping Hearts and Hands Youth Mission Camp. And they had operated for about 10 years and were sort of running out of work to do in their area. And the way they started was uh, their youth group in 1999 had just come back from a mission trip to Appalachia. And as they were coming back, they were looking around at the homes in their area, and they said, you know, some of these homes need help more than the homes that we worked on when we went away out of state. So they actually started this camp, and uh, like I said, they ran out of work. So we thought, what if we took the whole camp, the whole structure that they set up, youth camping out and then going to people's homes and meeting with them and helping them out and learning how to serve um, as Christ disciples, what if we just took that whole camp and moved it here to Damascus? So that's what we did. And this is our fourth year, and we're just having a wonderful time. So have you found that the people that did not apply for help with the outside group have accepted help from your group? Well, the first year they were kind of wary. Um, but as the pastor, I sort of had an in with certain people that I visited. So I talked to them about what we were trying to do to um, introduce youth in our area to serving. And some people got that idea right away. And they said, I'd love to have the youth come. And others were waited to see how it went the first year. But yes, they're much more open to it now. And you also have devotions with the youth. So not only are they helping others, but the youth are um, just building their relationships as well. Well, the whole purpose of the camp really is for youth and adults to grow spiritually through serving others in Christ's name. So we do have a lot of worship. We have worship around the campfire every night, and uh, that's always wonderful. And then devotions at breakfast time and uh, lunch time, so we can keep in touch with uh, what we're doing and why we're doing it and how we can grow. Thank you for sharing. We'd love to talk to some of the youth now as well. Wonderful. Emma Musto is here from Lenoxville United Methodist Church. She was joined with three other churches in this mission. How did you hear about this camp? After coming back from my mission trip, I was supposed to give a presentation, but we got lost on the way to her church. And then she um, called me afterwards saying if she wanted me to come and help her with um, building houses and fixing things around her neighborhood. Why do you feel like it's important to help those that are in your own community? Because they might be um, more hesitant to ask because they're they know you, and you might go around and talk about them later on. So asking them or letting them offer for help from their own community makes them feel like God's actually loving them through us. Thank you for sharing. Alex, what projects are you working on at this house? Um, we're working on doing painting on the ceilings in the bathroom and in the kitchen, and we are also working on pressure washing the outside deck and paint, repainting that. Um, a few of us are down under the house trying to get the outside water working and down fiddling with all the pipes and just helping her out. Alan, what project are you going to be working on? Uh, practically the same as him. We're working under the house trying to get the water back on. It's not working too well. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's the way mission trips go, but it all works out in the end. And Ryan, can you tell me what your favorite part of the mission trip has been? Um, I 
guess, being their helper. All right. Well, if you would like to learn more about how to do mission projects in your own hometown, you can check out my blog at sesquihannaexpress.blogspot.com.